On the afternoon of March 10, 2024, Kern County Sheriff's Office deputies responded to a report of domestic violence in the 200 block of East Beardsley Avenue, Bakersfield. The caller, the wife of the suspect, reported domestic abuse and stated that her husband had a gun and an axe before she fled to a residence across the street. 911, what is the address of your emergency? 240 East Beardsley Avenue. Do you need police, fire department, or an ambulance? I need there? the police out here. What's the problem? Um, my husband is putting his hands on me. Okay, do you need medical attention? No, I don't. I do not need medical attention, but I need some help because I don't deserve this crap. Is he still there right now? Yeah, he's still here right now. Can you please help me? Please get a cop out here. Okay, we'll get a deputy out there as soon as we can or something. Thank you. Just call us back. 911, what is the address of your emergency? It's 2 or East Beardsley Avenue. Okay, it looks like you called before. Has something changed since yes, the last my time you called? Has, my husband has a weapon now. Can you somebody please come out? What kind of weapon does he have? He has a gun and he has an axe. Can somebody please come out? A gun and an axe? Kern County Sheriff's Office deputies arrived on scene at 1.13 p.m. Emergency dispatchers called the victim at approximately 1.20 p.m. Hello? Hi. Yes, this is the Sheriff's Office. Yeah. Do you know why he's refusing to put it down? Because he's been drinking a little bit and we got in a fight earlier. Okay. I'm right across the street. I'm inside where the blue car is. And we're, we're just drinking too much. Upon arrival, deputies located the suspect in the front yard of his residence in possession of a rifle and an axe. Deputies made numerous announcements over the public address system for over 20 minutes, instructing the suspect to drop the weapon. The mobile evaluation team was dispatched to the scene, but did not arrive prior to the officer-involved shooting. A call-out for the SWAT team, which includes the crisis negotiation team, was initiated. However, the officer-involved shooting occurred during the call-out. Hey, with the white shirt, put the rifle down! You with the white shirt! This is the Kirk County Sheriff's Office, put the rifle down! He has a rifle in his hand. Control, I'm busted away. For information, uh, primary is refusing to drop the rifle. This is the Kirk County Sheriff's Office, drop the rifle down! Put the rifle down! Put the rifle down, now! Drop the rifle! Yeah, he still has a rifle. Put the rifle down! Drop the rifle. Cool, drop the rifle now. There's one in the backyard. You guys see him? I saw somebody in the backyard. Black shirt. No, 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 no. Additional suspect in the backyard. Hey, we just want to talk. Put the rifle down! Multiple civilians refusing to evacuate the area created a higher level of concern for community safety. Hey, he's messing with the rifle. Put it down now. You with the rifle. Put the rifle down. Hey, he's picking up his rifle. Heads up, he's picking up his rifle. Cole, this is the Kern County Sheriff's Office. Drop the rifle, you're under arrest. Hey, he's reaching in his waistband. What did he say? He's reaching in his waistband. He's reaching in his waistband. He's standing up. Paul, drop the rifle, you're under arrest. A closer look at the deputy side view mirror shows multiple civilians that did not obey evacuation orders, creating a higher level of concern for community safety. Paul, this is the Kern County Sheriff's Office, you're under arrest, put the rifle down. He's standing up, he's standing up. Put the rifle down. Hey, he's grabbing it. Let me see your hands! Cole, let me see your hands! Put your hands in the air! He has his hands in the air. Back away! Back away now! Deputy Nicholas Rocha, who was tactically positioned in a residence across the street, was the deputy who shot the suspect. Although his body camera was activated, the view was obstructed. Police said the footage is from a body camera that displayed the clearest view of the scene and not the deputy who was involved in the officer-involved shooting. This is an aerial view from the suspect's house showing the suspect's position. Deputy Rocha's position additional deputies' positions as well as civilian near the scene. This view from the south shows the suspect's position, the deputies tactically positioned inside the residence across the street, as well as an arrest team nearby.
The yellow arrow indicates the location of a civilian during the incident. Here is a closer look at the rifle in the suspect's possession. Here is a closer look at the axe that was within Cole Hughes' reach. Deputies rendered medical aid until medical personnel arrived on scene. The suspect, Cole Jackson Hughes, age 53, was treated by medical aid on scene and transported to the hospital for treatment of his injuries. He was arrested for domestic battery, felony resisting and brandishing a firearm. Cole Hughes succumbed to his injuries and was pronounced deceased the next day on March 11th. Thank you for watching Video League Police. Please subscribe.